Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video. We're in the centre of Moscow today and I'm going to show you what I consider the golden mile of Moscow and Moscow centre. Now we're going to have a look at some of the luxury stores and hopefully we can go into a luxury shopping mall. Let's see what happens. And hopefully then we're going to have a nice little idea of kind of what shops are open, what shops are closed, and just get a bit of a feeling for the area. This is what I consider the golden mile. It's luxury beyond luxury. So let's go and check it out, shall we? Now walking around, we're going to start right here by Sum which is a department store right in Moscow center. Now this is kind of the sister store to Gum, but this is Sum, which is actually even more luxurious stores inside. Now this is right here by Kuznetsky Mosque. Uh, you can see right up ahead there, that kind of sloped street, which is Kuznetsky Mosque Street right there. And then here we see the first few stores that are closed. So we've got Omega, Tommy Hilfiger and then just ahead there we have Longines and Tag Heuer. So now this is kind of uh, midweek afternoon again of course I'm always filming these in the afternoon time so that you're gonna see people around it's probably not busy like Saturday or Sunday but just gives you an idea of the uh, kind of area right here you can see these big red bags. People are walking out with these sum bags. Now, you can actually see in the entrance there, they've actually got a car dealership right in the entrance. There's actually Maserati have cars in the entrance. It's probably a little bit hard to see from here, but there's one parked up just inside. Now, what's interesting just here is going back about a year or so, Okay, Tag Heuer has been here quite a long time and it's pretty much gone. They've uh, covered up the windows, the Longines store, they basically took all the products out. There I am in the reflection. But the Tag Heuer store is well and truly gone. And then what's interesting is the next one right here is Adidas. Now Adidas uh, is actually closed as well. But this actually was a bar and a restaurant for a long time, for quite a few years. Then Adidas took over the, the lease of the store and then it's closed already. I don't think it actually even opened, which is kind of just crazy. So they've got this whole corner of the building here. And it's not a small spot they've got. And the rent for this place would be astronomical. It's to be right in Kuznetsky Mosque Street right here. And we'll just spin around here so you'll see there, just off there, Tag Heuer, Longines. Ta Tommy Hilfiger was right in the distance. But this Adidas store, as a guy walks past wearing Puma, the Adidas store here takes up a lot of real estate and it's not open. Now walking around in this video, we're not really gonna cover a great distance. It's only around about three blocks. So we're just going to walk around briefly around this golden mile of Moscow and we're going to have a look at where is all the golden gone? It seems to have disappeared. Now where we are here also is basically at the back of the Bolshoi Theatre and this is the Bolshoi Cafe. Now it's just set up the outdoor area now heading into summertime and spring so there isn't really many people staying outside right now because it's not particularly warm. It's nice but it's not warm. But they've got this all set up ready for the uh, warmer weather coming in the next month or two. And then directly opposite we've got Cartier. Now Cartier has basically got all their blinds up. It's kind of, it's very interesting to see all these closed stores. Um, it's a very beautiful spot right here in Moscow by the way. It's uh, big wide paths, nice big stores. But they've kind of covered everything up to the point that you can't even see inside the Cartier store right here at all. So and then we have IWC, which are very uh, upscale luxury watches. 
Uh, this place is closed as well. They've actually got sort of white signs you'll see on the door. Roger Dubois, Panerai. So these are all closed. And then we have uh, Vacheron Constantine. I think I, I'm going to get his name mixed up how I'm explaining it, but this place is closed also. Interestingly, they're still doing lots of work and cleaning and arranging at the place right here. But this whole stretch of uh, shops right here are all closed. And we'll just see right there ahead the Bolshoi Cafe off in the distance. Now, I forgot to point out there just as we cross the uh, street, the Bulgari shop is also closed. And that's some right off just in the distance there, which we saw a little bit earlier. But the Bulgari store has got all uh, kind of sheets up in their windows as well, just to kind of not give you the appearance of it being closed, right? But it, it really is. And then just continuing to walk along here, we've got Chanel. And Chanel has a huge store here, huge. But again, it's all closed up. Now, all these stores are kind of shops, shops, uh, are basically self sanctioning. No dogs on the grass, by the way. Can you see that right there? Uh, yeah, they're self so they've kind of chose to close. I guess that's the right word to say it. It's a huge kind of, uh, again, another huge store in a very big, lavish kind of building. Uh, Yves Salomon it does look open. I actually just saw somebody, uh, actually there's the security right at the door there, so that's definitely open. And then we'll keep walking. So we're not going to walk a great distance here. We're going to go around about two to three blocks total. And we're going to see a little bit of the, uh, the downturn in the luxury market here in Moscow. Now, right where we started here is uh, Petrovsky Passage. Now, I'm hoping that we can walk in there and just look like a bit of a tourist. It's actually quite a big place. Uh, I'm going to kind of leave that to the end. So... If we don't go in, we don't go in. If we do, we might just get a couple of photographs. So uh, it's a very fancy place, let me tell you. And then just across here, there's a few more clothes. Boucheron, uh, Ulitz Nadin. This is how much I don't know how to pronounce all these uh, names. And then one called Philip Pline there as well. That's also closed on. And I'm not sure what that middle one is. There's no branding on the uh, shop any longer. Now, guys, if you're wondering where to buy your ladies' diamonds from, this place is open De Beers. Yes, how many people have been to a De Beers diamond store before? It actually kind of takes the corner up of this building, which is just a little bit further along from where we're walking. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of people inside even in there. And it's right next to this Marriott, Marriott Aurora, which is a very beautiful building. Now, I'm pretty certain that Marriott was uh, pulling out of Russia. Now, I'm just wondering if they've kind of got some sort of branding agreement that they've got to keep up with, but it's a very beautiful building, uh, this hotel right here. And right in this golden mile of Moscow, it would be scary to think what the uh, per night price would be. Now, forever to get in trouble in Moscow, this is the state prosecutor's office right in front of you here. It's a kind of huge building, uh, very well uh, protected, fenced off. Um, yeah, this uh, state prosecutor's office. And then next door is this four level Gucci shop. Yes, four level Gucci shop. Now, when I was in Italy, we went to the Gucci store in, in Italy, and this actually even looks bigger than the one in Italy, but it's all closed. Yeah, it's all, it's all kind of shut up, and they've actually got everything still in the window, but it's, uh, it's definitely closed. But it's a god awfully big store as well. Uh, just looking at it, you can see the upper levels. They've got Gucci in all the windows. So I imagine this is kind of their offices and showrooms, and this is the place where you'd come and to your private in-store shopping. Now right next door to the Marriott and across from the Gucci store is this really nice kind of, I guess, tiny church right here. Now, it probably wouldn't fit more than a couple of people in it. I'm pretty sure it's not opened in a while. 
but it's very nice right here in the uh, center of Moscow. And we're just going to switch around right here, spin around, and we'll see here uh, Tubilon, which is a watch brand as well, which is closed. It's uh, kind of on the corner right there. And there's a store here that's not open. Now, I will endeavor to find shops that are open as we walk here. This is Stolechnikov Lane, if I've got the pronunciation correct. And this is kind of part of this golden mile of Moscow. And it's uh, very uh, luxurious stores. Mercury here is open. And then Kiton. I'm not sure of this brand. But then we're going to see here. Uh, okay, firstly here we've got Dior. Now Dior takes up this whole corner building right here as well. I think even this is a bit hard to get into frame how big it is. But uh, they've kind of put boarding up on all the windows. So this kind of looks all kind of closed down right here. Now, this building right here is under renovation, but quite a few of the stores are closed. And this is kind of the irony of this, uh, this uh, golden mile here, Billionaire. Now, what a name for this place, Billionaire right here. This is a kind of a men's clothing store. Now, exactly as I'm walking along here, they are doing some uh, renovation on these upper levels of this building right here, which is very common in Moscow. I mean, it's not just a one-off right here. They, they take six months a year to do this because most of them are heritage listed. Now, you're gonna see here the Fendi store is closed as well. So this takes up most of this lower level of this building. And then, just moving along here as well. So Salvatore Ferragamo, right here on the left. As this gentleman's playing his, uh, what do they call these again, these uh, organs? I forgot the name of them. Let me know, please. I forgot the name of what he's playing right there. And then there's uh, this very nice uh, passage right here. They call them passages or lanes, but just beautiful uh, streets. And then the Ferragamo store is, doesn't look like it's open either. Right there. And they've got the... Uh, uh, Red October there, the, the logo. And then St. James. So if anybody knows these names, let us know in the comments. I mean, I'm not aware of some of them. So some of them are obviously Russian, some of them aren't. Loro Piana. Hmm. Here we go. We, we know Dior right here. There we go. We're back on track. So there's the... Uh, I guess the second Dior store from the, the one we just saw. Maybe they've got uh, clo uh, clothing handbags in one and then perfume in another. This one's actually got the shutters down completely as well. So that's really closed. And then, okay, so over here on the left we've got Walford, which is a ladies' uh, lingerie store. Actually, if you saw the Corker City Mall, video this place was actually open but here in Moscow center it's closed and then the St. James store next door is closed as well there so and then Cartier they've got another location which is also empty so and I keep coming up in all the windows there's Cartier right there they look like they've kind of took everything out completely right there just some of the furniture's left in the store and here on the left, Richard Mill. He looks closed as well. And then the next door, I think that's probably the same shop combined. It's also closed. And actually, I've walked this uh, street quite a few times, and I find it interesting here. They've got H&M showroom in this building right here. So I'm curious what H&M showroom is. I'm, maybe it's their offices, but uh, there's no storefront down here. Monochrome is far from monochrome. It's probably every color not monochrome. I think that's the whole idea of the brand. It's actually got a coffee shop in there. That's what you need when you come shopping is uh, coffee and clothing shops are out at the same time. 
that's actually open and then next door is Probini Philippi I'm not sure of this brand they've actually got their uh, branding there the 9th of uh, May which is victory day here in Russia so well, let's spin around here so again there's another building under a bit of renovation but the store downstairs is Harry Winston which is the very luxurious uh, jewelry brand and this looks closed as well it's a bit of a shame and I'm pretty sure the security guard rather than sitting inside he's sitting outside in his car right here <laughs> so much easier to look after the place sit in the car with the heater on and then let's just sort of we'll just do all this in one take because this is really just one street and this is part of the main street that I wanted to walk around here so here is Hermes as well which is closed so unfortunately this is kind of the uh, the point of this video is to see all of these closed stores closed stores that have clothes wow getting my tongue twisted right there and then up ahead here is Piaget so yeah there's some uh, this is kind of the end of the line of the sort of luxury brands um, literally in one street and these guys are uh, no longer trading either they've left all their busts in the window but there's no jewelry there on any of them so yeah it does feel very desolate just walking down this street now I have walked this lane before so I know the area very well and if what are we on our third Chanel store already so Chanel has a lot of real estate right here in the center of Moscow and these guys are also closed but they've got an upstairs and a downstairs it's a very beautiful spot and then in Caucasus Mall we also if you've watched that video of course you'll kind of notice some of the stores are kind of duplicated here this is right in the center of Moscow we're literally 10 minute walk to Red Square this is Prada so we're really again we're only walking two or three blocks here so we're not kind of walking miles on end to kind of check out all these closed closed stores uh, Prada right here so now I've just noticed something interesting here on this sticker which is kind of a little bit of uh, an explanation of some of the brands that have left Russia or uh, have they left Russia so You'll see all the brands on this sticker right here. This is a fairly big sticker too, that they put right there on the window of the shop. So, yeah, Parada is no longer. So most of them have got these kind of white signs on the doors. that just let you know that if you need to contact them for any reason, returns, exchanges and the like, they can still help you. And here is the big Louis Vuitton store right here on the corner as well. This is a really nice looking shop and they've got this uh, kind of, I'm going to say it's a teddy bear or a sculpture where everyone takes selfies in this teddy bear right here in this mirror. There's a couple of people doing it right there. Perfect timing for the selfie. Um, but yeah, the Louis Vuitton store is also not open. And then I'm pretty sure if we go across the street, we can see Nespresso is closed as well. So... Yeah, this is a great little spot. We've kind of just literally walked around one block here, literally. So, someone's had their car uh, illegally parked. <laughs> and they're taking the car away. That's the uh, kind of the uh, parking company that basically take your car away to storage if you park it illegally somewhere in a street. So, we'll kind of double back around now and we'll kind of get back to some of the other uh, shops and have a closer look. Now we'll keep going around the next uh, corner here and you'll see again quite a few stores that are closed there's another one right here this one's for rent or lease basically now I think this was actually a cafe before so it doesn't look like it's closed recently maybe just the rent is just so high in the center of Moscow that you know it's not going to be reasonable for a small Kind of mum and dad style store to come in here it's uh 
just a great sort of spot to walk, particularly now in the kind of springtime. So yeah, we'll just uh, check out a couple more stores on this street and then we'll kind of go back around Kuznetsky Mosque there as well. There's a burger place here called Ketchup, which is a very interesting name for a store, Ketchup. Uh, right here. <laughs> Burger grill, cafe, kitchen. And here's another, well this is probably a uh, more of a generic kind of jewelry store that's closed as well. And then Adidas we know is also closed. Actually I've walked past here before when they've had uh, sneaker launches. And this place is absolutely crowded and they do kind of in-store launches and they've got an upstairs as well here and you'd struggle to get in the door when it's very busy you'll see this uh, ketchup place is just preparing its kind of outdoor seating area as well uh, a lot of the uh, cafes and bars basically build an outdoor area once the uh, winter's kind of finished Here's another one for rent. So this is the thing with these places. So you kind of get the luxury stores and then you're going to get cafes and bars and different things trying to kind of get in the middle of all of the action. And the owners of the buildings just put the rent so high, you know, that the average mum and dad, if you want to call it that, just can't afford to uh, sustain kind of the uh, cost of rent. This bike going by. <laughs> It's an electric scooter, but he's kind of modified it. And then we're back here again now at the Bolshoi Cafe. So we just basically just walked one block, but it's uh, just to give you a really good insight into the uh, kind of this golden mile of Moscow. Now we're going to try our best to see if we can get into Petrovsky Passage. So let's walk on over there and see what we can do. Now I was hoping to come across a Starbucks and just on the uh, opposite side of the road from the Petrovsky Passage there's one right here. Um, now there is kind of a bit of a boom in coffee shops in and around Moscow. It's uh, Starbucks is never really really a popular brand. You know what I mean? It's very uh, trendy of course to come to have a coffee here but you know what I mean? The price was never reasonable for, you know, passing traffic just to pop in. Now, what I really want to show you here, if we can uh, keep it all in one take, is this is the Central Bank of Russia right here. Now, generally, if you've watched the news at all recently, you'll sometimes see this in the background or they'll kind of film the, uh, the bank these guys have kind of got a lot of going on at the moment of course and they always ever have but this is the main central bank of Russia right here um, it's kind of a big big joint and they got these beautiful kind of uh, fir trees out the front now just coming out of winter they don't look amazing but give it another month or two once the, uh, the Sun starts shining this uh, place looks even more beautiful Now we've come inside Petrovsky Passage. I'm gonna talk a little bit quiet because it's a beautiful place. It really, really is. It's uh, kind of similar to Gum, but a little bit quieter and a little bit less patronized. Patronized, patronized. But have a look at the, the ceiling and the glass covering over here. It's just beautiful. Now I really had to come to this second level to get an idea of the place because it's just stunning. Now after seeing everything out in the street and then coming in here, it's like a whole new world. You know, I'm a little bit puffed out from running up the stairs because I was sort of so excited to get up to this upper level. So that's a little cafe down there. 
but it is very very nice so just walking through here there is basically every store completely open now the majority of the store on this upper level is actually uh, Bosco family so Bosco is kind of a department store type shop which basically has brand within a brand inside so have a look at this kitchen right here holy smoke yeah so it's basically kind of an upscale department store kind of in one building and you can do all of your kind of shopping in one store if you like kind of like a Macy's but I think probably three or four notches above Macy's <laughs> and I'm just being generous and you'll see downstairs here Moschino as well it's just amazing place and it's just peaceful and quiet <laughs> kind of quite dramatically different from outside uh, for sure it's very 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 nice let me tell you and then here we are at the other end of the same lane where we've been looking or walkway I guess I guess from upstairs it's just easier to get an idea of the place I've got these kind of uh, mannequins with kind of ball gowns on them right there and from what I can see here I'm pretty sure that this upper level is the storerooms for the shops because they've got these kind of like uh, locked rooms where people keep coming in and out of so I imagine that's where they're getting their stock from there is a store closed here Ladini and then actually here is Tiffany which is closed as well I'm not sure we kind of, this might be the back entrance so let's see when we walk around if it is open from the other side so we've just passed between the two passages now I'm just gonna spin around here and try and keep it into one shot and here is the other side there's a few perfume shops here I'm pretty sure that Tom Ford is closed though you see everything sort of on display there and then Paul Smith and then the rest of Bosco is up here as well so yeah the Tiffany store is closed there and then Van Cleef and Arpels let's just spin around the, uh, in between the passes there's a really an amazing sofa right here which is just kind of very beautiful like clawfoot sofa so uh, just have a look at this down here now yeah actually I think that there's kind of a very big uh, perfume store downstairs and that's where all of these build outs are in the middle here so uh, Killian, La Prairie, La Mire so yeah it's just beautiful um, probably not ideal for me to walk around downstairs but you know and that's the Piaget store that we saw on the main street here so there is a lot of um, kind of I guess security you would call them but the guys just dressed in suits just wandering around but they're not bothering me so it's okay so I thought I had to get one last look uh, I am talking soft because I feel like you know, it's not appropriate to talk a bit loud in here, so I hope the volume's coming across okay. Mariana Rinaldi. Uh, there's Max Mara down here as well. But just beautiful place. Now, you thought Gum was nice. If you want to watch that video, I'll put a link to Gum. But this is uh, just on another, another level. So. Of course it's very quiet but that's to be expected this kind of place won't kind of get a crowd of people and you know what I mean they won't be kind of that weekend shopper coming here you know it's really much more intimate kind of place to come to okay everybody so as I walk out of Petrovsky passage now how amazing was that shopping mall shopping center amazing place now it really is a tale of kind of two contrasting areas here in this golden mile of Moscow from walking the streets literally where we are right here behind me the street ahead of me uh, we literally did only kind of one lap of a block which is really what the intention was to going into Petrovsky passage and just seeing shopping on another level you know kind of basically the 
ultra luxury brand shops here in Moscow, Russia. So I hope you've liked this kind of video. It is kind of pretty much how I intended it to come out from start to end. So I really wanted to show you that kind of golden mile of stores Oop, as I walk down a bit of a hole in the road here and show you some of the open and closed stores and just give you an idea of the place. It's uh, kind of early afternoon, midweek again. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you think. I mean, of course, it's gonna be very opinionated, of course, because some people wanna see all the stores in Russia closed. Some people aren't sort of concerned about that part about my channel, but I just thought this was a nice walk around right here in the center of Moscow. I know this area very well. My wife worked literally a street away from here for five years. So I know exactly where I'm walking here, uh, beautiful part of Moscow. So yeah, thanks for traveling with Russell. Thanks for watching another video. If you've watched it right to the end, thank you very much. Hope you like this video and we're going to go off on another adventure. Bye everybody. Bye. <laughs>